Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to another Mattel action figure video. We are going to have a look at the heaviest WWE superstars. Uh, the reason I wanted to look at the heaviest is because these obviously make the biggest figures. Uh, and some of the most impressive figures that you can put onto a shelf are the biggest, the widest uh, they obviously stand out. Uh, so I thought it might be fun to have a look at the heaviest WWE superstars. Uh, to put this into context, Nia Jax weighs 255 pounds. You can get a Nia Jax figure uh, from Elite Series 65. Comes with three different heads that you can swap over. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, just hit in UK stores now. Like, it's only recently just come out. Um, but yeah, very, very cool. You should be able to find that in stores. So, Nia Jax is £255. Everyone that we are going to look at on this list weighs at least £350. At least £350. Uh, so, let's get started. Let's start with Paul Bearer. Uh, now, I know that Paul Bearer isn't a wrestler. Uh, he was a manager, uh, obviously the manager of The Undertaker and of Kane, but he was a big guy. He really was a big guy. Um, and they made a few builder figures that I don't think really captured his size. Uh, they also made a Hall of Champions figure. Um, and again, I don't think that quite captured his size. His size really fluctuated. Um, but as we said, at his most, he was around that like 350 mark, maybe even a touch more. Um, but he is in the Hall of Fame. He went into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2014. Next up, we've got Prince Albert, the current NXT head coach. Uh, I believe he was the former IWGP tag champion. Uh, his partner was Carl Anderson. How cool is that? Uh, and you can get a Prince Albert figure, uh, Elite Series 22. They did make a few Prince Albert figures, um, but that Elite is very, very cool. Uh, stepping up a little bit now, £364. Big John Stud winner of the 1989 Royal Rumble. Went into the Hall of Fame in 2014. You can get Big John Stud in the Heenan family pack. Again, not sure it really captures his size, um, but still, they did make that figure. Uh, £375, Kamala. Uh, Kamala, four-time USWA Unified World Heavyweight Champion and the AWA Southern Heavyweight Champion as well. Uh, you can get a Legends figure, and then they kind of re-released it in that Lost Legends series. Uh, so, very cool. One of my all-time favourite elite figures. Uh, also at £375, Brodus Clay. Uh, Brodus Clay obviously worked for WWE and TNA uh, in WWE. He won a Slammy uh, in 2012, Best Dancer. Uh, and in TNA, he won Bound for Gold 2015. Uh, you can get a couple of Brodus Clay figures, uh, Elite Wise, Elite Series 18, and Elite Series 25. Both of those figures are awesome. Next up, £384. Typhoon, a.k.a. Tugboat, a.k.a. The Shockmaster. Uh, so, former tag team champion, obviously with the Natural Disasters, uh, and one of the most iconic moments in wrestling history when he fell through the wall making his debut as the Shockmaster. Uh, you can get a Typhoon figure uh, which is the then now forever figure. You can get a Tugboat figure which is Elite Series 44 and you can even get a Shockmaster figure. That is the San Diego Comic Con exclusive I forgot to add Braun Strowman, so here he is, he weighs 385 pounds. Get these hands. 
Next up, 390 pounds. Bam, bam, Bigelow. Uh, bam, bam, Bigelow, IWGP tag team champion. His partner was Vader. And also, this is true, Slammy winner in 1987 for best head. He's got apparently the best head. <laughs> Uh, so you can get a Legends Bam Bam Bigelow figure and also a Then, Now, Forever. Next up, £412. We're into the 400 plus category now. Mark Henry. Mark Henry, just pure muscle. The world's strongest man. Former ECW champion. Uh, former heavyweight champion. Obviously in the Hall of Fame. Uh, you can get quite a few Mark Henry figures, uh, Elite Series 32, and a Fan Central figure. £420, the great Carl Lee, one of the tallest superstars to ever compete in WWE. Uh, former World Heavyweight Champion. I don't believe they ever made an Elite of the great Carl Lee, but you can get a Basic, uh, Basic Series 33. £425, we got Rikishi, um, Hall of Fame 2015 for Rikishi, uh, former Intercontinental Champion as well, and two-time Tag Team Champion, uh, you can get a few Rikishi figures, uh, but the Hall of Champions figure that comes with an IC title uh, is probably my favourite. Next up, £441, The Big Show a.k.a. The Giant. So he was known as The Giant in WCW um, and Big Show in WWE. He is a seven-time world champion, 11-time tag team champion. Uh, you can get Big Show and Giant figures. Both came in the same series, Elite Series 22. How cool is that? So you can get WWE and WCW versions of The Big Show. £450 now. Vader. Big Van Vader. Three-time IWGP champion. Three-time WCW champion. You can get uh, a Legends series figure. Uh, and also an Elite figure as well. Uh, so they made Vader a couple of times. Next up, £457, Akeem, a.k.a. One Man Gang. Now, um, here's an image of a One Man Gang figure that uh, Mattel made but never released. Uh, that was actually in our latest video, the uh, Never Released Part 3 uh, series that we do. I will put a link on screen to that. So they never released that one. But they did release an Akeem figure, uh, Legends Series 5. How cool is that? Akeem, the African Dream. Uh, absolutely awesome. Former WCW US Heavyweight Champion. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, we're getting down to the big guys now, the real big guys. Next up, £458, King Kong Bundy. Uh, main evented WrestleMania 2 against Hulk Hogan. Uh, and you can get a Legends figure. I think this was an exclusive somewhere. Maybe Toys R Us. Not too sure. Uh, it might have been on Matty Collector, actually. Uh, but you can get a King Kong Bundy figure. Next up, £468. Earthquake. Uh, he was a former sumo wrestler. Uh, and also WWE Tag Team Champion, obviously in the Natural Disasters, alongside Typhoon. Uh, and you can get a couple of Earthquake figures. Then now Forever Elite, and also Elite Series 35. At £475, Andre the Giant, obviously former WWE Champion, first inductee into the Hall of Fame. He has a bronze statue, which is the biggest honour that you can get. Uh, and you can get a few Andre figures. I really like the Amazon exclusive. It's kind of like really 70s, 
early 80s Andre. Uh, and then also you can get a Legends figure, which is based on when he won the WWE Heavyweight Championship. Second heaviest person, 487 pounds, Mabel. Mabel, King of the Ring winner, 1995, hardcore champion, tag team champion, and of course has got a great looking figure coming out in Elite Series 68, King Mabel. That figure comes with a chase variant as well. Uh, very, very cool. And of course that brings us to the heaviest superstar uh, that Mattel have made a figure of, and that person, five. Hundred and eighty-nine pound Yoko Zuna uh, went into the Hall of Fame in 2012, won the Royal Rumble in 1993, former two-time WWE champion. You can get a few Yoko Zuna figures. They've done like a Hall of Fame figure, flashback figure, uh, Elite Series 15. Uh, so there's quite a few options for Yoko Zuna. I believe the heaviest superstar. And they've never made a figure of this person. Is um, Haystacks Calhoun. Haystacks Calhoun, massive name in like the 70s. Um, had a feud with like Bruno San Martino. Um, and I'm sure he was like around the £700 mark. Absolute monster. Uh, it would be really cool if we could get a Haystacks Calhoun, but... Don't hold your breath. Uh, awesome, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, hit the subscribe. Give the video a like as well. It makes a massive difference. I really appreciate it. And hopefully, I see you again next time. Bye for now.